Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. It is Wednesday, and first, before I talk about the fall frolic and show you the borders I got on it, I've got the old school up here, and I have been sewing rows and getting getting the churn dashes, the rest of the churn dashes done. So I have just the top row to sew across, still have churn dashes to make, and I did a few little clips to show you a couple of things about it. I sent a layout photo to a few friends last night to see what they thought and everybody was like yeah it looks balanced so good to go so I'm sewing this sort of in between doing some computer work so first I'm just I don't have all these churn dashes done but I'm doing this row I've done that row minus one churn dash I've done this row now and I'll show you a close-up of getting this guy into the block which is so close he's a beast just a beast and then I will do a cross, and I do have all the sashings cut, so I can do all the block ones and have to get the rest of the churn dashes done. So that's kind of an in-between project that's going on. I'm sewing the hexi block in here, the beast of a block, and one of the reasons it was a beast too is that you really had to be sure you got it on the square, because look here, this is right on the seam. Uh, it's on, you know, I didn't sew onto it, but now I'm coming here on this one, and I pretty much have to be focused, focused, focused as I'm filming this with one hand so that I get, there we go. You can see, I did not sew into the block. And if I flip this over on this side, you can see here. See, didn't sew into the block, but the seam is right, right at the edge. And over here on the sideline, I have the churn dashes. I have two of them set up. I still have quite a few, I don't know, maybe 12 more to make, something like that. But I've got this so that I can do these sections as I stop and start these rows. So it makes it a little bit more efficient. So this will, this top I can get going. I could, I think in the next few days, I can go ahead and get it all going. Now the pattern I gave you for this was using a six inch wide, border edition. I may or may not. I may do four inches. I'm going to do something, but if you don't want six inches, you can adjust that. to do. I think four inches would be fine as well, uh, but six kind of balances with the sizes, so that's why I went with six on the pattern. Okay, the other thing I've been doing, the scraps. I have a couple other scrap blocks I want to just show you. So here is one in blue. I love it. That is, that's so fun. So I still have this stack of blue and I'm doing, this is the middle. Look at that coffee. Yes. <laughs> this one, I had the scissors. See, I found, I got the scissors. Let me show you another little clip here. In order to make these scrap, we these scrap blocks. So like here, I started with a square and then just put another piece next to it. And then I've got everything else in sort of strip sets. Um, here I had cut off from another thing, so that's long enough. So I'm just going to add that one here. And then from that point, I would start using these bigger sets and go around, around, around. And as I cut things off like this, I will just sew them back on to another one. You know, maybe sew them on to here. And just try to build this out and use up everything here. If it's looking like it's not going to get to about, you know, 11, 12 inches, then I will get some other pieces of fabric and add in. But this should get pretty close. So a few other of these that I got done. These, these, these parts here, like here, not the end too, not the Morrison Park fabric of mine, but these strips were from a future project. And I thought, well, they look kind of cool. It almost, because of the fabric matching up, it looks like it's inset, but it's not, it's sewn. I did a Christmassy one, which I love. Look, so I had these half square triangles and I, I did not size them up. I just used them as is and put them together. And I think I showed you this one. I'm not sure, did I show you this yellow one? And you could turn it however you like. <laughs> no arrows going down, arrows going up or sideways. <laughs> oh, and here's another blue one. This had that same piece of fabric with the figures on it. See, there's some a bunny in a watering can or a coffee can. So I've got those done. And the top of my, if, if I don't keep making the dang scraps, 
it'll I can get it done. This is the scrap pile so far from the old school that I have still that's just been generated since uh you know the twelfth block and plus maybe two pieces. So this was a, my like a mock up I had for my block. I might use that as a base like a center and then build the rest around it and use those scraps up. I don't know if I can make all these scraps little pieces go away by December 31st, but I'm going to try. I'm going to really, really try. <laughs> okay. Now I am going to, can I do that? I don't click fingers so well anymore, but I'm going to click my fingers and put up the fall frolic. And just like that, <laughs> there's the fall frolic. I have all the borders on and I am so excited and happy with that final, you know, arrangement of getting those borders on there with the leftovers, you know, the fat quarters and things from the sew along. And I use quite a bit of it all. I don't have it here. When I do that sorting of those bins, I'll take a look at that. I am going to use my Harmony Wide Back for the backing. So this is what I've decided to use. And it's kind of a hunter green, which I think goes really well with a lot of the prints in there. I could also have used the black that I have, so that would be another good, but I think I'm gonna use this one. Get, gonna use the green, it feels nice and fall-like. So let's take a look at some things. And then I have a mail call. <laughs> and it's a yummy mail call. There's like lots of yummy stuff came in the mail. Uh, but first I wanted to, a couple friends asked about that pink tea towel and they still have them. So I thought I'd show it to you. This is from my friend Stacy of Gingerbur. She designs all kinds of things. And these tea towels, they're just, this pink one is just so gorgeous. I think I have to actually get another one because I want to keep this one. I want to send one to my mom for her birthday in January. So I'm thinking of, oh, I'll, I'll get another one. So don't take them all. That's <laughs> okay, there was an, a fabric line that came out that I think is so sweet. And there's actually a really great pattern. This is all from Lila Boutique, Vanessa, another friend of mine. And she came out with this really cool layout for a quilt with quilt blocks. So if you take a look in there, you can see the blocks, the quilt blocks all through it. And I just love the format of this one. Uh, she worked with the Fat Quarter Shop to put together a book. So you will be familiar with the way the patterns are written since they're Fat Quarter Shop done. There's, it's just, it's so cute. But she has this whole fabric line called um, Love Note. So that is so, so, so sweet. Look at this. I'm going to show you a few pieces of it because I, you know, I don't really, I'm not really probably going to do this. I would love to do it, but I have too many other things. So, but the fabric line is gorgeous and I want you to be able to get in on that besides the roses. Okay. I just have to open it up because, all right. So you have this main print. And then, of course, there's always some companion solids. But look, there's a really nice text print with it. And this dots, which isn't dots, it's little bitty hearts. And, you know, all of these designs will then be repeated in other, you know, colors within here. Great scale. And, like, so here's the little bitty dots on tan. So she has the same fabrics on tan. Oh, I love the text print on tan. Look at that. I wonder if it's love letters. I didn't read it. So here is the print opened up. So you can see, and this is a very classic drawing, how she draws her roses and things, which I really love. I think something with this for my mom would be really pretty because she likes pink. So it's got this sort of peachy pink. You know, so it's not like screaming, you know, bubblegum pink. It's just really nice peachy pink. Oh, here's the quilt blocks. Look how cute that is. Wouldn't that make a cute pouch for a girlfriend? Now here's more like the regular pink, like a double pink. And then there's a nice line stripe in here. Some greens. That's cool with, look at that, look at that. That is so cool. Okay. A bit more greens, 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 and then a darker green. So everything comes once again in the darker green and then a, a teal. So a teal that's a little bit darker. And, what, and there's another one of the print that's a quilt block. These lines, little bitty hearts. They're so sweet. Uh, the flowers and stripe and a text print. 
So this, once again, is the pattern that she designed. Like She has some other patterns, too, to go with the line. I'll link you to the whole thing that has to do with her line. But this one is very cool. So if you're looking for a project like that, there you go. Okay, I want to do... I want to do a mail call. I had some, always, you're always sending lovely, lovely cards and beautiful messages. This is from Eve. Ah, so, so pretty. I'm going to do some cards first. This is from Bobby. Bobby in Wisconsin. I love it. All the messages, I mean, Greg and I read them both. And so we, you know, both, both of us read the messages. <laughs> this is Diana in, where is she? Oh, she's here locally, down just a town over from me. I love that scene. Isn't that cool? Ah, Marianne did this. Oh, well, this is from Country Kids Create. So it's uh, done with a, probably a children's print, I would assume. A beautiful note and some gorgeous little edges for me. Yes, I know. I have that edges project that I will be getting to. I will be getting to it and showing you more about what I'm going to do. Okay, this is from Tammy. Look at the sloth. <laughs> what, this made me laugh, Tammy. I just, when we went to the Panama trip, we took a cruise to the Panama Canal, went through the Panama Canal. Uh, we saw sloths on a side trip, the side tour that we did. So cute. And she's from Maine. So she sent me a main postcard. I love this. I love that style of, of drawing. And then a yummy card. And today, my drink is sponsored by all of you. <laughs> I put my uh, Americana, which is it's an Americana with a splash of soy, and I put it in here. It's iced. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I had a couple of gifts. I had just another wonderful box Deb sent me of Seeds Candy with their 100 year anniversary. I am loving the 100 year anniversary. I wanted to show you the other one for Seeds Candy. Look at this. See those drawings? It says on the back here, I have to read it now. The drawings have been, these drawings have been done for the past 50 years from art, artist Dorothy Gray. She has been doing this artwork for C's Candy for that long. No cards, it says, the tins, you know, window displays. And I love this style. That's, I, I, may, I may have been born, born at the wrong time. I just love that style. Okay, two more. <laughs> This one's from Wisconsin. All kinds of Wisconsin things in here. I'll show you, she sent me a couple cards. This is from Jody. There's the Christmas card. She sent me, this is made in Wisconsin, which I didn't know. Andy's chocolates, Andy's mints. I love these mints. They were always fancy. When you, when I was a kid and you went out to a restaurant with your parents, which didn't happen very often, and you got these at the end on the way out or at your dinner plate. <gasps> so fancy. It felt very fancy. And then she also sent me this super cute, <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> Gives you the little eyeballs up there. And then some uh, lotions, which are, I think she said, also from Wisconsin. And they're like natural, yeah, Wisconsin. So I'm really interested to try these. Thank you so much, Jody. That, those are things I will really, you know, I really need the chocolate. <laughs> yeah. And Darlene is going to be sure I do have enough chocolate because Darlene has sent me a bag, a bag, a box of chocolate. She sent me... Thank you, Darlene. She sent me this wonderful card. She goes and finds these German chocolates. So from when I was a kid and lived in Germany. So look how cute that is. I just, oh, little tiny pretzels and these wonderful snowmen. And she also, she sent me some Merci candies. I've had these before. They are excellent. If you're ever looking for a gift for somebody, this is it. Some wonderful chocolate bars, which are German or Austrian made. I think these ones are Austrian made. If you've ever had them, let me know. Super cute notepad. Some ornament chocolates and a big Santa, St. Nicholas. And these two really cute things Darlene found. Look at this. Like a little stained glass. And this pin. It's a pin. And it's a little log cabin block made into a Santa. Oh, my goodness. You guys have outdone yourselves. I love you. Mwah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you online.